Okay, another floor by Peninsula Floating Floors. Uh, I haven't got my gimbal, so if it's a bit shaky, I do apologize. It's a lovely Renault in Crib Point for Amy and Chris. They've gone with black butt in the oak leaf uh, digital print, the uh, HD Plus. It's only the second uh, digital print laminate I've laid. I laid a natural and this is the black butt and it looks stunning. 30 different planks, designs, you just don't see any repeats. It's uh, 48 hours water resistant, you can't scratch it, it's just beautiful. So I'll just do a quick go for it, it's not been cleaned up but I'm going to be back. But I just thought I'd do a quick vid because uh, it just looks so nice anyway. And uh, yeah, it's about 150 meters, something like that. So uh, here we go. So uh, actually undercut that. I don't know anyone who would have bothered to do that. Everyone would have quadded it. But you know, so. Uh, just put trims around the fireplace. Usual trims, front and sliding doors, nice tees, skirt still got to go back on. I'm putting transitions at every door now. Before the before video just shows what this place was like. These guys have worked miracles. He's only had it three weeks. Check out this stuff. These are pallet made of old pallets. Armrests. How good is that? Look at this table. All made out of recycled pallet wood. I think that's Merbu. I mean, you could, you'd pay two, three grand for that, wouldn't you? Absolutely beautiful. Same here. These are some kind of post he's got outside, put them for a thicknesser and those bolts, because uh, Chris works on the power lines, they're actually from power lines and stuff, and that's holding it all together, beautiful. There's another pallet table, he made those legs himself. Through the slider, into the master, a pallet bed and pallet tables. He's a genius. Uh, took the rails up, we had to drop that rail down because we didn't want to mount that on MDF. So yes, yeah, just put the MDF up there, give it a little paint. Two pieces of T-mold. The, the guys in the warehouse have kindly scratched them every 70, 700 mil. So I couldn't use them for the doors. Somehow he's made a fourth bedroom in his house. I'm not sure what he did, but uh, yeah. Toilet, into the bathroom, he have gone mad. Waterproof molding around the shower, clear silicon top and bottom. Um, so what I tend to do, or Chris to do, is just run a line of uh, silicon under all the skirts. Toilet. Put the toilet out, put it back in again. This is going to be a laundry. And another room. So, uh, yeah, he's gone mad. He's uh, black, but it all, it's just, just, when it's mopped up, I'll be back and it'll all be uh, skirts on and everything, but even uncleaned or still looks great. Let that run again usual what I do you know so the board there and there equal distant and then the hall dictates when I come out the hall what I did when I got to this point here this board there then I just run battens all the way along just off cuts of wood and screwed them into the floor and then I laid it this way so I could had something to tap against so then it's all laser measured out then you get a nice board that goes the same thick width all the way down. When I first I come here, I undercut that and slice through the input to the dishwasher. So we, we worked out, we took, we, I was just gonna undercut it and go under. So we took that off, so it made laying so much easier. We took the sides off and then we got the kickers off. So no quad at all. Just undercut everything, I skimmed all the 
kickers off, screw them from the top. You screw them in, it lifts them off the floor. Then you unscrew them, pushes them to the floor. And then you put pack them with window packers and you screw them again. Now they sit real tight on the floor. I think they're getting these sprayed white. They're getting two packed. Cupboard. That's the only bit of quad in the cupboard. So there you have it. Let me see. All this furniture looks amazing with the floor. I'm going to put that on the roof of my van. It's just, I'm actually going to make one. It's got some pallets outside for me, some really old ones. So I'm going to make one as well. Just weighs a ton. But those armrests, how cool are they? It just needs to be a bit wider and integrate some ice, an ice bucket. My design will have that if I ever get around to it. Got to talk rubbish. So there you have it, uh, 150 meters of hd black but it's beautiful just so realistic you know they're scanned boards of real black but you know none of this graphic created garbage you see on old laminates where they've got four boards four board designs and then they spin them over and you, all you do is just concentrate Try not to put two repeats next to each other because it just looks absolutely crap. This stuff, you know, you don't spend your t waste your time concentrating on the bloody boards. You just spend your time doing a good job laying it. All the undercuts under the jars all tight. All right, love this stuff. Don't want to lay anything else to be honest. Why laid engineered timber and get covered in glue? And it's twice the price. And this stuff's, well, pets, kids, water. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like it, smash a like on it. If you didn't like it, don't do anything.